So we just spoke to Terry and she said you were there when Rodney got shot and set on fire. I wasn't there, I don't know why they said that. Here's your chance to tell the truth. Slim, we go give you some time to think about it. I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, Slim, we just got word from Sididi Titty Memorial and Rodney has passed away. No, not Rodney. So I'm going to ask you again. Were you there when he got shot and set on fire? Nah. Nah. Nope. Terry also said that you and Rodney got into a little altercation earlier that day. And you said you were coming back to kill him. Nah. No, no, I'll give you one more chance. You got five minutes to make a decision. I'll be back. <laughs> Did you make a decision? I tell you everything. Just give me a, a five piece chicken tender meal blackened with mac and cheese and french fries for the sides of lemonade and two Popeye's biscuits. <sighs> he asking for extra biscuit. He think he's slick. He trying to get it stuck in his throat so he can't tell. Now he not slick. I'm going to give him the Popeye's, but I ain't going to give him the biscuit. Okay, we got your Popeye's, but we're not giving you the biscuit until the end. So me and Rodney did get into it. Terry was right there, but I ain't kill him though. Tell me what happened. That was my brother. Yo, brother, what's his name and what happened? His name is Rafikio Adu Muhammad Jackson. They got into it. <clears throat> Because of me. And he hopped out his exposition with black and gold rims and shot him in the stomach. And as he was on the ground, he was pouring the gas on him and he lit a match. Am I free to go now? Here's your biscuit. I'm always like them better anyway. Suck ass, nigga. <laughs> he dimed out his own brother for a Popeye's biscuit. Mr. Sad. Sad case. Rodney didn't deserve that. 